To scan the lateral ankle, we first start at the fibula. The fibula, you can see on the screen here, has the shape of a shark's fin. So the first thing to do is to find this shark's fin. As you move down distally, you see the tibia and the fibula coming close together. And as we slide off the distal end of the tibia, we start to see the lateral talus. And you know it's the talus because it's got articular cartilage on. This is now in the shape of a pyramid. So the talus is in the shape of a pyramid. We then move back up proximally until we see the distal end of the tibia. And then the key thing is to angle just this end of the probe, so we're actually fishtailing the probe, this end up towards the opposite knee. And you can see nicely the AITFL going between the two bones. To assess the laxity of this ligament, we use dorsiflexion. So if I gently and passively move the foot into dorsiflexion, despite the movement, you can see that the tibia and the fibula do not open up at all. So that ligament is doing its job. To find the ATFL, we then follow the tibia down distally until we see the Taylor dome. This is the lateral aspect of the Taylor dome with the articular cartilage. To find the ATFL, instead of pointing the probe up towards the opposite knee, we point this side of the probe down towards the big toe. So we keep this side still and point this one down until we see the fibra alignment of the ligament, which we can see really nicely here. The, the ligament of the ATFL is between here and here. To assess the laxity of this ligament, this time we use plant affection. Make sure you put the thumb nice and close to the probe so you're controlling the foot and you can see the ATFL going tight and relaxed. Tight and relaxed. So that shows us that the ATFL is still preventing any unwanted movement.